the pro can serve the same purpose as a wedge or a hatchet, just splitting things, but it also can be used to control the split. So I have several kinds of froze here. Unfortunately, I used one of them with, let's see if I can get this out. Yeah, great. So one is blacksmith made and the other is mass produced. Um, the one closer to you over here is um, a blacksmith mage fro. And if you look at the cross section of it, it's going from thin to thick in a relatively gradual taper, uh, slightly convex. So the, each side of this thing is slightly convex. Curtis Buchanan swears that that makes a much better control over your riving. And he's always right. This is a mass produced fro. And you can see by how bent and beat up it is that this is the one I use most often. I bought it from Woodcraft 15 years ago. Uh, and it's parallel sided down to the point. And just like that first wedge is double beveled. Uh, and in this case, it's a fine enough double bevel that it'll actually go in. Um, and it's much thinner. It's made out of spring steel. And so the thickness is much thinner than any old blacksmith made one, which is made out of something softer like wrought iron and tends to bend. Uh, and this can be uh, an advantage, which we'll see in a minute. Um, one tip about keeping your handles in, the only way I've found to do that well is to put a shoulder on your fro handle here, drive it all the way in, leaving, this might be a better one to show, leaving a half inch sticking out here. I don't really have enough here. Um, a half inch sticking out and then drive a monster wedge in from the bottom, which flares the end of that fro handle, locking it on. Um, and it'll get loose eventually. And you take a chisel and you make another split this way and you drive another wedge in and eventually you keep going until you end up with more wedges and you do fro handle. 